Alrighty now, welcome everyone. This is the I Talk Fortnite podcast, episode number ten. We are on number ten already. That's kind of crazy to me. So, welcome everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Tuesday morning. Uh, it's eight o'clock in the morning for me right now, which uh, usually I'd be work at work, but once again, my boss is like, "Hey, you usually work morning shifts. We're gonna put you on night shift again." So. I'm here in the morning, so yeah, and they decided to drop their patch notes at 8 a.m. Eastern, which is precisely the time I go to work, so since I don't have to go to work till later today, this is, you know, a good thing, so I get the patch notes out to you guys, and we all are all happy. So, once again, like I reiterate in every single podcast, this is meant to be audio only, this is meant for you to listen to, not necessarily watch. So if you guys have a game you want to play, like maybe the new Spider-Man game, which I heard is phenomenal, play Battle Royale, Save the World, Blackout, whatever you want, whatever you want to play, you go do that, you go do whatever you got to do, you're just here to listen to me talk about Fortnite. So thank you guys so much for chilling with me today. It's been raining here for the past few days, Kind, I'm actually kind of happy about that because, uh... It's been so hot outside, like it's ridiculously hot. And and now that we have like this uh, nice fresh abr- a breath air that like it's raining and now it, it feels nicer outside. It's not like I want to die as soon as I walk outside anymore. It, it's good. It's really good. So I am uh, very happy with uh, the weather outside. So yeah, I'll take some rain if it means I don't suffocate outside. <laughs> so yeah. Uh... That's pretty much it with me. Uh, nothing really else too crazy has been going on. Um, we did get Power Cord, which we will talk about that very soon. Actually, since the official patch notes actually haven't come out just yet, uh, I w- I'll just talk about my feelings about Power Cord and how, uh, how the community reaction to it is because there is a lot that I didn't personally expect was going to happen kind of happened so let's talk about it so they did bring power cord back on september 9th 29 uh, 2018 i'm said 2019 they brought power cord back on that day now you know a lot of people are actually very angry at, at me not only at me but just in general that the fact they brought power cord back and i kind of can't understand it because the entire time I've been trying to get power cord back. I was either getting hate or I was either being told it'll never come back because it's an E3 exclusive. It's too sexually revealing. The game files got corrupted. Like, I got so much of that. And I'm I'm left confused. I'm like, well, it, seriously, if it's like that big of a deal, then... Like, I thought no one liked the skin. Apparently, no one liked the skin. But now that it came back, people are like, oh, now people are going to have it. I'm angry about that. I don't understand it. Yes, it was a rare skin. It was actually, technically, it was a rare skin. But no one uses it. No one likes that skin very much. They just don't. And I'm okay with that. I don't care if you think it's the worst skin in the game. I do not care. I like the skin because I like the skin. I don't like it because it was rare. People seem to get that confused. They, they, they're they like, oh, now you have a rare skin. So now it's ruined and you only wanted it because it's rare, but it's not rare anymore. So what the fuck's the point? I didn't want it because it was rare. I wanted it because it's a skin that hasn't come back a second time in the shop when it should have a while ago. And now he finally got it, which I'm very thankful for. And, uh... I'm just getting a lot of people pissed off at me, and it's just, it's ridiculous. It's like, listen, I wanted the skin because I actually like it. I know, that's a shocker. You, you're like, oh, how, who could like this ugly skin? People that only like it, obviously only like it for rarity. Yeah, you're you're very closed-minded if you think that. I like the skin because I like the skin. Big shocker. I don't get it. But, uh, yeah, so Power Cord came back. Very happy about it. A lot of people mad. Surprisingly, a lot of people are actually angry about it. Just wait until Halloween. Once they bring Skull and Ghoul Trooper back, people are going to start a riot. I guarantee it. If they're going to freak out over Power Cord, 
coming back, then they're going to freak out about Skull and Ghoul Trooper coming back. I guarantee it. Honestly, the only skin I think they'll keep actually rare is the Recon Expert. But then again, they might just bring that back too. You never know. I would buy it. I like it. Now people would say I would only like it because it's rarity because it, of its rare. I think it's cute. I actually like it and Instigator. I I like both of those skins a lot. And uh, once Instigator comes back, I'll definitely be picking that up. But uh, yeah, I like it. It's it's a cool skin. I don't really mind it. I like more simplistic skins now. I, I'm not super, you know. I'm not super like, oh, I only like this particular kind of skin. I like a skin that I like, man. I don't like it for rarity. If I liked it for rarity, then what is stopping me from getting another account with that skin on it so it maintains its rarity because it never, it, it didn't come back to the shop? Like, I do not understand these people. I really don't. But that's all I'll say. Power Cord came back. All those rumors were false. Like, I said they were, but no one, not many people believed me on it. Which I'm okay with. Some of the evidence seems kind of legitimate. E3 exclusive kind of makes sense. It only came out when E3 was first announced and that was it and never again. So I understand it. But like when people tell me it's like, oh, it's because it's an E3 exclusive or because it only came out for when a band played for them or something like that. It's just like, why? Why? Like, really? Why? I don't I don't get it. I really, really do not understand it. So, oh yeah, and also Twitter kind of blew up. Uh, I got over 3,000 likes on that tweet, which is very awesome. And uh, yeah, another thing is a lot of people are telling me I didn't do anything to bring the Power Court skin back. And, you know, I, I agree. I don't think I did, but I think the community as a whole did because we all rallied behind bringing the skin back. That's all. I, I, I never said it was only me. I never, ever said that. I just said I was a part of that, of like the community trying to bring the skin back. I doubt Fortnite brought it back because of me or because of anyone else asking for it. I doubt it, but I feel like they needed hype in order for it to bring the skin back because I don't think they were going to bring it back if there was no hype around it. That's just my opinion, at least. And, uh,. Yeah, so it is 8 o'clock now. We have the patch notes for 5.4. So let us get into this. So Fortnite has released a patch. Uh, actually, wait. Yeah, here we go. All right, so, so now Save the World has the Rook skin. This is ridiculous. They keep putting everything in Battle Royale and putting it into Save the World. It's kind of weird. But, uh, yeah, so they added the suppressed assault rifle. It says, take down your enemies quickly and quietly with this new assault rifle that rewards precision over rapid fire. So, I'm assuming this means there's going to be, like, no bloom on this gun, which would be cool. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, save the world, save the world. Okay. So, we got some bug fixes with the getaway mode. Uh, players in the getaway limited time mode can no longer land on the van without building. Okay. Reduce the victory music at the end of the match. Okay. Jewel will no longer appear in inventory hot bar after being put in the down but not out state. Hmm. Okay. Player models will no longer get stuck under the van after winning a match. That was hilarious, by the way. Player models and items will no longer fall to the ground after winning a match. Okay, and Enforcer Outfit no longer appears distorted to other clients for certain distances. Thank you. They finally fixed the Enforcer skin. My God, did that take them a while. It took them over two weeks. So for weapons and items, the uh, suppressed assault rifle was added. Sneaky weapon that rewards trigger discipline with precision. Can be found in vending machines, floor loot, treasure chests, and supply drops can only be found, or it's only available in epic and legendary variants. 32 to 33 damage per shot. Vaulted the drum gun. Okay. That's huge. They vaulted the drum gun. I saw this coming. I saw this coming, honestly, from a mile away. It was way too good at in every scenario. It was good at it was decent at long range. It was good at medium range. It was good at close range. It dominated at close range. My God. Same with medium range. It was even really good in, in that range as well. Uh, a lot of people are going to be mad. It was a fun gun to use. I, I agree. It was extremely fun to use. However, yeah, a lot of people, man, I, 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 I don't think a lot of people are going to like that. 
And, uh, once again, I can understand it. It's a gun that, uh, everyone likes. I like it. Uh, I wish they would, uh, I think once, uh, they update Playgrounds more, I hope they put the vaulted weapons in there, because that would just be so much fun to do that. I don't know why they wouldn't. Uh, so maybe that might be the next thing we should hype up is, uh, yeah. A lot of yeah, I'm looking at Twitter right now, and people are saying, like, it's one of my favorite weapons, and it got vaulted, yeah. Uh, it was one of my favorite weapons, too, but like I said, I think it was just way too good in way too many situations. It seemed overpowered, and also Ninja. I feel like Ninja, while he said, because I remember an IGN video, he was asked, like, a bunch of questions, and they said, if you could get rid of one weapon, what would it be? And I'm pretty sure he said the Tommy gun. Unfortunate. Honestly, like, you know, I could make a whole video about this. Um, the, the, the popular streamers do have a say in what happens. They do. And, uh, you know, is that really a bad thing? I don't really know because I'm pretty sure Epic looks at us in two different lights. They look at Ninja. They look at Tim, the tap man. They look at every popular streamer and pro, and then they look at the community and they see what the community wants. I seriously think that they do consider looking at what the pros and what the popular people want because they think that maybe the popular people want what's best for the game and in some cases i agree but in some cases i disagree and i don't know this is uh we'll have to see what happens but yeah vaulting the tommy gun kind of a kind of a shock i wasn't expecting them to vault it so soon but yeah they did uh, performance, uh, sub-region matchmaking added for Southeast, Southeast Asia, okay, and then save the world, and that's it, okay, they didn't fix power cord, I thought they were gonna fix power cord in this update, but they actually did not, okay, that's it, that's it for this patch, it was very, uh, was very small, there was not a lot, I mean, we got a new gun, which looks cool, by the way, looks like a, uh, well, it, it's a scar, but with a uh, su suppressed suppressor on it, so pretty neat. Pretty, uh, pretty excited to uh, give that gun a try, and uh, yeah, I, this podcast barely lasted twelve minutes, so kind of ridiculous. But now what we're gonna do is like I do in every single video, or every no, not every single video. I'm sorry, every single podcast. I go to my last podcast and I read the questions that you guys have. So if you guys have any questions for me. Please leave them down in the comments of this video with the word questions so it is easier to find. Alright, sorry about that. Alrighty. So I'm going to scroll through and see if I see anything on the questions that uh, I get. Because I don't think I have too many. I don't think... So I got a, I got a comment from Kit Kat saying, "Hey man, I completely respect and love your passion for Power Cord. I love her so much. She's a queen, and this was such a nice little video. I normally, I normally hate Fortnite YouTubers, but you are my fave. Keep it up. Thank you, Kit Kat. I greatly appreciate it." Uh, Ops on Fire said, "GG, cool podcast. Your channel is underrated. Keep it up. Thank you, man. I greatly appreciate it. I'm, I'm really, um, I'm so happy that you guys seem to enjoy my content. It's really." It's really cool, and uh, it just means a lot. It really does. I, I just want to I want to entertain. That's all I want to do. I really don't want to be like I'm not gonna turn into some sort of clickbait or something like that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. So, um, oh, uh, Frog commented. He said, "Your channel blows, and you'll never get power cord." Well. <laughs> Good fight to that, man. Good fight to that. So uh, I got actually got a question here from uh, Envor-D. He says, what do you think about the default skin and will I do live streams? So what do I think about the default skin? I think they're fine. I wish you could pick which default skin you wanted, but besides that, I think they're fine. Uh, will I do live streams? Now, I wanted to also mention this with the whole power cord situation. I was getting death threats. I was getting DDoS threats. Streaming is not safe. At least for me, it is currently not a safe thing for me to do because there are people out there that will do that for for no good reason. Like, I don't understand. It's Power Court came back. It's my fault, apparently. So now we're going to DDoS you and, you know, do all this malicious shit to you. And I'm like, I don't get it. it. 
I don't get it. If you didn't care about the skin and you thought it was ugly, then what was – why are people so mad that it's back? People did not buy it that much. I guarantee people did not buy that skin a lot, okay? Just saying, man. My god. Uh, let's see if I got any other questions here. I don't think a, I don't even think I have a lot of questions here. Uh All right. CJH, he didn't ask a question, but he said get guests on the show. I will absolutely start getting guests on the podcast for sure. Uh, I I have people that I I could um uh, could uh, have on the podcast so maybe I will uh maybe I will do that in the very near future but I actually got like no questions and that's okay I don't really care man but uh yeah this is uh this is great I just wanted to say that like how many comments did I get over 114 on a podcast video like the support for the channel has been insane and I think did we just hit 7,000 subscribers we just hit 7,000 subscribers it's uh it's pretty great. I greatly appreciate it, guys. This is actually mean extremely short. Uh, I don't really know if I have anything else really to talk about. But, yeah. Drum gun got vaulted. That's going to be a lot of... That's going to be on a lot of people's minds right now. I, I bet you. And, uh... Fortnite just tweeted out about the patch notes. But I got them early from another source. So, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to see if there was anything else. There was not. There was nothing else. Totally fine. So I might as well just tell you guys what I'm working on because I'm sure people are curious. Uh, well, now that we have Rock Out back, uh, I'm going to start making my music videos, m music video projects that I've been planning on. I've had a lot of ideas. I, I Music is one of my favorite things ever. When I work, I listen to music. Whenever I go to sleep, I listen to music. Whenever I edit videos, I listen to music. I love music to death. I really do. And I've been do wanting to do a lot of music videos, and I have ideas, and now that we have Rock Out, I feel like I can start working on those music video projects, so I hope you get guys look forward to that. I have some videos of uh, unpopular opinions I need to record today, actually, because uh, I tomorrow is my day off, so I gotta really crank out videos on that day. And uh, yeah, that's basically it, so I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast. This was I Talk Fortnite. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. I will not beg for it. Subscribe to the channel. If you are new, turn on the bell so you get all of the latest uploads. Comment down below your questions for me and whatever you want to talk about. And follow me on Twitter at iTalkFortnite and join the Discord. Have a good one, guys. See ya.